Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll be walking through the capabilities and settings of our latest release, Scene Builder. The Scene Builder is a powerful tool that allows you to organize the content and design elements of your webinar into groups or scenes. Once those scenes are built, you can seamlessly swap them in and out during your live webinar, giving you the power of a fully fledged production suite all within the Big Marker platform. Previously, when changing the content or design of the webinar, everything had to be done individually. But now presenters, media content, and design elements can all be changed instantly. With Scene Builder, you can produce your webinar with ease and avoid any clunky transitions or mistakes. You'll find the Scene Builder in the left-hand navigation within the live webinar room. Once you open the Scene Builder, you'll see two screens at the top of the page. On the left is your preview. As you build a scene, the elements you choose will be shown in the preview, ensuring that you have everything set before going live to attendees. On the right is the current live program, or what your attendees are seeing. Below these screens, you'll see a list of the scenes that have been added to the webinar and the option to build a new scene. To change which scene is being previewed, simply click on the corresponding button. Each scene has a three-dot menu with a few options. You can either duplicate a scene, make it into a template, or delete it. To create a new scene, click on the plus button next to your list of scenes and select Create New. You'll have five categories of sources that you can use to build your scene. Presenters, media, overlays, lower thirds, and backgrounds. The presenters option allows you to decide which of your presenters will have their microphones and cameras active in the current scene. Click the icons next to each presenter to make them active. As you enable presenter cameras, the preview will show what the layout will look like. You can also modify settings such as rounded corners, camera size, layout, and more from this section. Within the media source, you have three different categories, presentation, video, and audio. If you have preloaded any content into the webinar, it'll appear here, but you can also click the plus button next to each of the source categories to add more. Overlays are images that are placed over your webinar content, typically a border or a frame around the stream. You can upload as many overlays as your webinar requires, as well as individually set the opacity for each one. When adding a lower third, you have a few options for design and copy. Once you save, it'll be available in the list of available lower thirds. Also within this source are logos. With this, you have the option to add a logo to any of the corners of the webinar content. Using this in conjunction with the lower thirds is a great way to brand your content while a presenter is on screen, whether for yourself or to fulfill sponsor obligations. Background images will be displayed behind all of the content in the stream. The background is only visible if you have a mixture of presenter cameras and media being shown, or multiple presenter cameras, but it's still a helpful design element if you want something other than a flat color behind your content. Once your scene is complete, you're ready to take it live or save it as a template. To go live, simply push on the button in the center of the scene builder and your attendees will see it. To make your scene into a template, click on Save as Template within the menu. After doing so, you'll have the option to save a new template or overwrite an existing one. Once you save a template, it'll be available for you to easily copy into any live webinar. Just click the Add Scene button and select Copy from Template. To manage your templates, you'll need to visit your home dashboard and then find the section for scene templates at the bottom of the screen. In this section, you're able to view any saved templates, edit, or delete them. And that's it! Hopefully you'll not only find Scene Builder useful, but also an important tool to uplevel your productions across the entire platform.